Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about some of my favorite musk fragrances that I've got in my collection. So I had way more than I thought I did and a lot of these are oils but I also do have a body spray and quite a few perfumes. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with the perfumes for those of you that are not interested in oils so that those of you that are not interested in oils can click out after um, I go through all the perfumes. So yeah, let's start with perfumes. These first two are ones that came to mind immediately. As soon as I thought of musk, I thought of these fragrances. These are the most beautiful kind of clean musky skin scents. The first one is Pure Grace from Philosophy. And that's exactly what this is. This is a really clean, kind of white, soapy, it's just really fresh and clean, but it's got, it's got this kind of skin-like musky quality to it. And when it warms on your skin, you it's definitely this just beautiful, clean, musky kind of skin scent. I love it. Um, this was one that I was on the fence about for a while after I first got it. But after I wore it, um, oh, I fell in love with it. It's so beautiful. It's like this is, if I had to choose one fragrance in the entire world that I think would be the best fragrance for like healthcare workers or people that are not supposed to wear fragrance to work, this is the fragrance that I would pick. I think it's just perfect for that because it smells clean, but it doesn't smell perfumey. Um, it smells soapy. This is one of those fragrances that when people smell it on you, they're going to wonder if that's just how you smell. Um, yeah, they're not gonna know that they're actually smelling a perfume. It's it's good. So anyways, that one is Pure Grace from Philosophy. And then the next one is Amazing Grace. And this one is kind of the same way, but this one has a little bit more of a floral aspect to it. So yeah, this is like, um, this is like Pure Grace, but if you added some light, sweet florals, but it still dries down to that kind of musky, light, fresh skin scent. But add, a, but add some sweet florals to it. I thought of both of these immediately when um, I started thinking about what fragrances I was going to pull for this video. Those were some of the first that came to mind. Okay, next we have um, this fragrance here. This is from a brand called Addict. Um, and this is an this is a Korean perfume house, which is really interesting. You don't see a ton of perfume coming out of Korea, but this one is called Naked, and it is a musk. And this one, it's like a, it's kind of like this jelly consistency. So you squeeze it out, and it almost reminds me of skincare. It almost reminds me of like a like a gel kind of serum and it feels like absolute velvet when you like rub it on your skin. It really is like super moisturizing and soft and it does, it feels like velvet and it rubs right in, like it sinks right into your skin. Oh. And it smells so good. This one really does smell like slightly sweet, clean, warm skin. It's really, really nice. It makes a great base for any kind of perfume, really. Yeah, this one warms on the skin so beautifully. It just starts radiating this kind of clean, this light, clean sweetness. It's beautiful. So anyways, that one is called um, Musk or Naked. It is the Musk from Addict. And that's their, I think it's what they call their solid perfume. Okay, next we have a Zara fragrance. This is one of the most unique musks that I have in my collection. This is the uh, Musk 004 NTL from Zara. And this is, I think this was considered a gourmand musk. And it, that's exactly what it is. It's like a light, sweet, clean, 
skin musk but with candied almonds it's so pretty so you get a touch of powderiness and sweetness from the almonds and then this beautiful clean white musk it's so good so the philosophy fragrances I layer them over the lotion and I can get five or six hours out of them um, this one is actually quite a good performer I can get probably six hours out of this fragrance it lasts a really long time on clothing and I do over spray it so um, yeah I really enjoy that fragrance next this is one that I debated whether I wanted to pull it or not but at the end of the day for me this is like a clean musk fragrance um, and that is still from Jennifer Lopez I just wore this oh my gosh and this is one of my I just want to smell clean and fresh and really not perfumey I just want to smell sweet and clean and fresh and that's when I pull still this this is like a sweet it's like a sweet clean musk but with a really beautiful soft tea note in it there are some citruses and some light sweet florals but this one really is all about that beautiful soft tea note and like a clean musk base it's beautiful. Again, it just smells like sweet, clean, fresh, warm skin. Fresh, warm skin. And I just love this fragrance. Um, this was one that sat in my collection for like, I don't know, a year or a year and a half, not getting any love at all. And finally, I pulled it. And when I did and I actually wore it, I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my gosh, why have I been ignoring you? it is such a gorgeous fragrance so anyways that is still from Jennifer Lopez okay next we have a newer one to my collection this is such a good musk fragrance this is Kaali musk 12 this is beautiful this is like if you like Jovan white musk or fragrances like that yeah if you like Jovan white musk or if you like um, the body shop white musk fragrances like that you would like this this one is a little bit softer and a little bit sweeter it's really really beautiful I really like to layer this one I'll put like a musk oil on and then I'll layer this over it and it's really beautiful I will say though this isn't the best performing fragrance um, I think if you want a really good performing like white musk seriously spend eight dollars and get the Jovan white musk because it performs a lot better than this and it's not quite as refined smelling as this one and again this one's a little bit more it's a little bit softer and more well-rounded and like a little bit more expensive smelling but at the end of the day you're gonna get the same I mean you're really gonna have the same experience and the Jovan white musk lasts so much longer I used to have it in my collection I decluttered it I really wish I hadn't because um, yeah, I really love wearing a good white musk and I really enjoy Jovan white musk. I think it's really nice. But anyways, this is Kaali Musk 12. Really beautiful, but pretty expensive for what it is. Um, I'm really dying to get the Juliet Has a Gun musk. Um, I think it's called Invisible Musk. I want that fragrance so badly. Okay, next we have a body spray. And this is for those of you that really enjoy like... A Jovan white musk or a body shop white musk this is so close to both of them um, this is from this is a little body spray from body fantasies and it's just called white musk and that's exactly what it smells like clean warm white musk like skin it smells like clean warm skin it's that kind of a white musk it's really beautiful very very close to Jovan white musk like very very close I love it um what I'll do with this one is I'll spray this one this body spray on as soon as I get out of the shower and then I will put an oil on and then I will um and then I'll sometimes layer a perfume or sometimes I just wear this and an oil um and I love it it's super fresh clean really inexpensive you can pick these up at um you can pick them up at Walmart for like under $4. So anyways, that is Body Fantasies White Musk Body Spray. Really, really nice. Okay, and then another 
perfume. Oh my gosh, I love this fragrance so much. This is Derek Lamb 10 Crosby Silent Street. And uh, this is another like musk fragrance. This is actually quite strong for for being like a musk fragrance and yeah this is like a more pungent like stronger musk it's got much more like body to it than any of the others that I've talked about it's got a slight sweetness it's not overly sweet it's more clean smelling than sweet it's got just the slightest touch of sweetness this one warms on the skin so beautifully this is probably and I think that's what I love about this one is it's more clean and it's not sweet. It doesn't have like any sweetness to it really. It's just warm, clean musk. Yeah, and it's a little bit stronger than any of the others. It's really beautiful. This is one that if I ever come across a full bottle of this, I need to pick it up because it's so good. So anyways, that is Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, Silent Street, such a beauty. And then the last per perfume that I have to talk about before we get into oils is this one here. This is Nirvana, uh, sorry, this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. Um, I do have the oil which I will layer on first and then I will spray the perfume on top. This is beautiful. This is, I believe it's like, it's basically Lily of the Valley and Musk. It's Lily of, Peony, Lily of the Valley and Musk. But mostly you just get the Lily of the Valley and the Musk. It's warm, it's clean, maybe just the slightest touch, kind of powdery, but mostly just like a warm, clean, mostly musk with a little bit of floral. It's gorgeous, I love it. It's one of those, it's one of those fragrances that just makes you feel good. It's just so pretty and so clean. Um, this one I can get, like I used to be able to wear this to work when I worked 10 hour days. Um, yeah, this combination will get you through hours. I would say at least eight hours. Um, it could just be on me. That could just be, I had good luck with it with my skin, but yeah, and I really, I really do have good luck with this. So anyways, that is Nirvana White from Elizabeth and James. Such a good one. Okay, now we're gonna get into, oh no, I've got one more perfume, sorry. Okay, this is actually the last perfume. Um, this is the only Narcissa Rodriguez fragrance that I actually like. This is Narcissa Rodriguez Pure Musk. Um, the, only thing, the only thing with this one is I have a hard time smelling it. God, this one I'm almost like a touch anosmic too. And I'm not the only one, like there's somebody else commented on one of my, someone else commented on one of my videos um, saying that she can't smell these, she can't smell Narcissa Rodriguez fragrances at all. So she's thinking it's like the musk in them that is what she, that is what she's like an osmic to. And I think that might be the case with me as well. I can smell it on the paper, but this is one of those fragrances that when I spray it on, I immediately can't smell anything. Oh, but it smells so good on the paper. It's such a beautiful, clean, again, maybe just the slightest hint powdery, not at all sweet musk. And it's like a stronger musk. It's kind of like the Silent Street where it's like a, it's got a lot more body to it. It's not a light musk. It's still very clean, but it's got a lot more body to it. It's really, really beautiful. I just wish, I'm gonna have to try this in the heat though because when I tried it, it was cold out and I'm wondering if maybe it just didn't like warm on my skin properly. Cause I can smell, even on the paper, I can smell it so much more now that it's really, really warm out. So yeah, I'll give this one a good a good wear test now that it's warm to see if anything's changed. And I'll update you guys, of course, um, in a What I Wore Last Week video. But anyways, beautiful musk fragrance. I really do love this one. Um, again, it's Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. Okay, and then I've got a ton of oils, you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this one here. This is a Swiss Arabian oil, and this is, uh, this is, 
This one is called Musk Malachi and this is, it's kind of like a Middle Eastern style, clean musk. It's very slightly sweet, but it's definitely got that Middle Eastern vibe to it. It's super warm smelling, almost like, I don't want to say it's incensey smelling, but almost a touch incensey. Super warm, skin like. Maybe just the slightest touch woody and very, very Middle Eastern. It's beautiful. I love this. It's one of my favorite musk oils in my collection. You can see I've only got about, mm, I've got less than half because this is a great layering oil. Um, and I love this little bottle. It's so cute. So anyways, that is Swiss Arabian Musk Malachi. It's a beautiful musk. Okay, next is another Middle Eastern one. This is Al Rahab White Musk. And what I love about these fragrances, these Middle Eastern White Musks, are that they don't smell like a typical White Musk. So for us, usually when we think of White Musk, we think of like this kind of White Musk, like Jovan White Musk, Body Shop White Musk. These Middle Eastern white musks are completely different. This one is super clean, very slightly sweet, maybe just the slightest hint floral. Yeah, this it doesn't smell like any other white musk I've smelled. It's like a really, really unique, very clean, not very sweet at all. Yeah, white musk, it's beautiful. I love it for $3. It's such a good, clean perfume. Um, Al Rahab oils don't last for very long on me, but I don't mind because they're $3 and they're small enough that you can just toss them in a bag and, you know, easily and discreetly reapply them if you need to. So yeah, anyways, that one is, I, I would say I can get maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours maybe out of um, most Al Rahab oils. Some of them are beasts though. Some of them last forever. And I think it depends on the person as well. Some people have really, really good luck with them where they just last forever on them. And then others like me just don't because our skin tends to eat fragrance like no other. But anyways, that is White Musk from Al Rahab. It's beautiful. Who else out there is so freaking excited for the, for the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale coming up? I cannot wait. Um, it like, I was just, I had just been thinking about it like a week ago and then I saw somebody posted, um, one of the girls I follow on YouTube posted a video talking about the semi-annual sale and I was like, holy cow, I can't believe it's coming up again so fast, but I am so stoked. June 13th is when the sale starts and I love it because I love to stock up on hand soaps, wallflowers, candles. Those are like the main things that I like to stock up on and the car the car air fresheners, but I love to grab the body care too when they have scents that um, I'm excited about. But anyways, let me shut up and, and keep talking about musks. Okay, this next one, this is my favorite, hands down, my favorite musk fragrance on the market. Um, I think it's the best one out there. I can't get enough of it. I can't stop talking about it. This is Lake and Sky 1111 and Oh my gosh, it's it's my favorite musk on the market. It is the best musk I have ever smelled. There's nothing super groundbreak groundbreaking about it. It is just like this clean, slightly sweet white musk, but it's a blend of white musk and white amber. And it is so warm and strong. It's really strong on my skin. It is like a beast. It lasts absolutely forever. I can apply this one time and I'm good for the entire day. It's really rich and warm and clean. It's the best white musk fragrance or it's the best musk fragrance I've ever smelled. I love it so much. I've gushed about it a ton on this channel, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna sit here and gush about it anymore, but it is my, hands down, my favorite musk on the market and in my collection. I love it. So that is Lake and Sky 1111. I need to get the spray perfume, but I think the oil performs better 
than the spray perfume, so I may just stick with the oil and then when it runs out, just buy another oil. It's cheaper and I think it performs better. Okay, next we have a Sweet Essentials oil and I hate even talking about Sweet Essentials at this point because I don't know what is going on with their website. Um, I just ordered like 25 oils. I'm in the process of testing them all, so I'm talking about them almost in every, well not every, but I'm talking about them at least once or twice a week because you know, I'm talking about them in my What I Wore Last Week video and people are wanting to order and I don't know what's going on with the website. It's just like, it's like it's closed. It's not letting anybody put orders in, which makes me sick. Um, and I don't have, you know, I don't know what's going on any more than anybody else because I just ordered like a normal customer like anybody else. And yeah, I wish I had some info for you guys, but I don't. But anyways, I ordered this fragrance here. This is called Sweet Musk, and this is beautiful. This is very warm and skin-like. It reminds me of like an old school musk, like a musk from the 80s. Which is funny because I've been dying to get just the original Jovan White, or just the original Jovan Musk because I think this is what I remember it kind of smelling like. But this is like a lighter, maybe slightly more modern version of like the Jovan Musk. It's so good. It's slightly sweet, super warm, but also kind of strong musk. And I think this is kind of what Jovan Musk, I'm gonna, which I'm gonna order it soon because I need to, like I need it in my life right now again. But anyways, yeah, really beautiful, um, kind of warm skin musk. That one's called Sweet Musk. Okay, next is one of the best musk oils out there. This is Smells Like a Stero, um, and this is the most beautiful, clean, oh my gosh, like clean, it's very slightly sweet, like skin musk. This is another one of those fragrances where people aren't gonna know if you just if that's just what you smell like naturally, you just smell amazing naturally, or if it's a perfume, because it doesn't smell like perfume, it's not perfumey. It is the most beautiful, clean, ah, oh, skin musk. I love it so much. I need to order, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for one oil to come back in stock. As soon as it comes back in stock, I'm gonna order that, and I'm gonna order the spray form um, of this so I can layer the spray over this. But yeah, I can't wait to get the spray form because I'm just gonna be in off? heaven. Yeah. I'm just gonna be in heaven smelling like the most beautiful, very slightly sweet, like clean goddess. It's amazing. If I had to recommend any one oil out of all of these, this is the one I would recommend. Um, I think that this would be, I think this is the most crowd pleasing. Like this is the one that I think anybody would love this. I can't imagine anybody not liking it. So anyways, yeah, I highly recommend this one to anybody and it's only $11. I think it's $11 and 30 cents or something. So it's so affordable too. Um, I've got every single Estero oil except for one that I need to, I need to order. Um, but anyways, yeah, this one is so good. That is, smells like Estero, the most perfect clean musk ever. Okay, this next one, this one is kind of weird as most of the fragrances from this house are kind of weird. Um, this is a Nazamato fragrance and this one is called China White. Now, this is this, I would consider this a musk fragrance for sure. But it's also kind of got this slightly earthy green, yeah, it's got this like earthy kind of slightly green aspect to it. It's very slightly sweet, but it's also this kind of clean musk. It's really, really nice. I will try to track down the notes on this one. Um, sometimes it's hard to find notes for Nazimato fragrances, but yeah, this is probably the most unique musk kind of fragrance that I've got in my collection. Um, it's really quite interesting. But anyways, yeah, that one is China White from Nazimato. Okay, this next one we have is a Kumba Maid oil. This is the Kumba Maid Vanilla Musk. This is a beautiful, 
perfect combination of a sweet, soft, kind of plain vanilla and white musk. With this one though, the, the vanilla kind of burns off after, I don't know, the vanilla kind of fades away. Now you kind of retain the sweetness from the vanilla the whole wear time, but the vanilla does kind of fade away after some hours and you are left with just this really beautiful, clean, soft, sweet white musk. It's a really, really beautiful oil. I love this one. I forget about it. I forget how beautiful it is. This one's really warm too. Warm, sweet, soft vanilla and white musk. I love it. It's such a good one. So anyways, that is Kumba Made Vanilla Musk. Amazing. Okay, next is, this is a newer one to my collection, but this is another really beautiful like Middle Eastern white musk. This is, this one is called White Musk Tahara. I can't remember what, who, what house this is. It's a house I had never heard of before. You can find these oils, you can find a lot of amazing stuff on Triple Traders. Um, this is like a really thick, it's a really thick, um, like really nourishing oil. But this one is beautiful. This one is, it's sweet and clean, but floral at the same time. It's like a sweet, clean, floral white musk. It's really, really beautiful. Again, very Middle Eastern smelling, very different from any other like white musk that you're gonna smell. It's really beautiful. This one almost gives you like a clean laundry vibe. It's stunning. So anyways, that one is called White Musk Tahara. You can find this on Triple Traders for really inexpensive. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got a couple oils here from Nemat. So I was turned on to these by a subscriber this past winter, and these are amazing. The first one, this is the first one I bought. This one is called Musk Amber, and this is so good. This really is like the most beautiful, warm, resinous amber, but with this beautiful, clean musk note. It is so beautiful. This one is much heavier. This is definitely more of a wintertime scent, but I, I would totally wear this in the heat too. I, I think I could get away with it. Beautiful. If you love amber, I think you would love this. I love a good resinous amber, but there's a lightness with this one because it's got that beautiful clean musk in it. It's lovely. I'm so happy to have this one. So that is Amber Musk, and you can pick these up at Ulta now, which I am so excited about. Anyways, that one is Musk Amber. And then the last one that I have is this one here. This is Vanilla Musk from Nemat as well. And it's funny because I've got two Vanilla Musks here, the, the Kumba Maid and then this one. They are completely different from each other. They do not smell the same at all. The Vanilla Musk from Nemat is much, much more vanilla forward. Yeah, much, much more vanilla forward. This is like a, this is like a sweet. So this one is much more of like a Play-Doh-y vanilla, but I would say mostly like a Play-Doh-y vanilla with Musk being the supporting note. And in the Kumba Maid, it's the other way around. It's this really beautiful, clean white musk with a soft, slightly sweet vanilla as the supporting note. So same name, but completely different fragrances, which I love. And I love them both equally. They are amazing. And it's funny because they kind of smell the same, but they're the opposite of each other. This is a vanilla fragrance with musk. This is a musk fragrance with vanilla both incredible. So anyways, that is Knee Matte Vanilla Mask. Such a good one. And that's going to be it guys. Those are all of the, those are all of my most favorite musk fragrances that I have in my collection. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.